Hey folks, it's I always there and back with some more World of Tanks. As you can see, this is Ira. She's in the 110. This is a tier 9 game on Tundra. And um, this is a pretty tank. Um, this is basically an IS-3. It's a bit taller and a bit thinner. But their armor profile is similar. And um, basically, the weak points... Actually, it doesn't have the weak point up on top. Like the IS-3 does, but it does have a much bigger where glaciers target. So uh, you do have to get this thing to have a bigger mound of rubble in order to um, not have the IS-3 problem getting shot in the underbelly. However, you guys by now will notice there's no face cam going. Um, that's simply because my wife used the photography, well, basically my green screen setup for her photography for the weekend and then it never got put back <laughs> and so I gotta record um, don't worry for tomorrow's video it will be put back um, and we'll, we'll go from there this thing is incredibly strong if you can get it hold down and you're looking at your target or at your threats so you, can, you should be able to just poke his head through this little gap here and bounce almost everything comes at him and he's never going to see that E25 the E25 is going to be way too cable flash um, way too hard to see for him to actually ever see it but he should be able to look through this gap and see these guys without too much effort now if they shoot some gold it has the op it has the possibility of going through any um, normal <laughs> rounds though are not gonna go through um, he is hoping artillery will hit these guys I don't think artillery is going to mostly because it's a little hard for Artie to get around from here to there um, ow I don't think that was a good idea but uh, he does do it and he does he does get him over to this side so now he's in a less good spot. Now he doesn't get hit by the E25 if he pokes it here, but he doesn't have the the hold down I'm talking with my hands and realizing you guys can't see it. <laughs> Sorry. He's no longer hold down and so he's suddenly has the option of getting hit in the lower glacis um, with this position. So I don't know. I don't like it as much. <laughs> E4 wiggling his turret there. He saw him Wiggly is trying to make sure you didn't get hit, and of course, that is why I don't think Artillery is going to take out the AMX. Artillery is in a position where he can more easily hit the E4. Wow. As um, I managed to yawn exactly at the wrong time. Sorry about that. It's early in the morning if I'm going to get uh, today's recording done and tomorrow's. Then I got to record now. Um, really? M M6. A2E1. I haven't seen many of these things, but I'm pretty sure they went on sale over the Christmas break. Ooh, a Pershing in the open. Pershing apparently not paying attention to us as he was looking at it for 1375. He killed 1375, but at what cost to him? Well, he got himself tracked. He is now getting himself shot up actually pretty well. We should be able to get one last hit on before he leaves the area. Ooh, and we tracked him. He... Iron Mike. I know an Iron Mike. Do I know that Iron Mike? I don't know. I don't think so. But it did give me a pause for a second there. Uh, the M6 is... Oh, right. There's still an E25 back there. Who's just giving us <laughs> damage blocked. Thank you, Mr. E25. Um, we're never going to see him. <laughs> there is not a choke in anywhere. We may just get a sight one on this guy. Though we may eventually be able to shoot him if he gets, you know, lets us get close enough. But for the meantime, he's just going to keep us tracked and in position. We're going to speed this up a little bit because, of course, as long as we're tracked and in the same spot... Um, there's not much we can do. This M6 apparently has... Oops. I, uh... 
I want to return that to normal speed, not go faster. The M6 has decided that since we're a sitting duck, he can poke around the corner. Unfortunately for him, that has not been the case. Yes, he got one shot on us, and everything else has been blocked, and I guess we got one shot in on him, so I guess overall, it was pretty much a wash. Um, nope. Going sideways around that corner. <laughs> Irish discovers gun depression. This tank doesn't really have it. Um, and so he didn't, in fact, get the shot he was looking for. But, oh, if he had just taken the snapshot, that most likely would have gone in. He waited and aimed, though, and then it ricocheted off the side of the turret because, of course, the M6 had rotated the turret by them. One for one trade again goes in favor of the M6. But we have a Panther with us. Panther rushes around and misses his shot. <laughs> Thanks, Panther. It's, it's good to have you here. Ti scores are all tied up. However, we are outmatched in this side of the map. Don't forget, there's still only 25 back there. So, M6 is looking like it push, he's going to push up. Uh, he does. Irush actually falls way back. And now he's going to go for it because, of course, oh, the Leo had overextended and we managed to balance. I don't know how we balanced. But we did, and having a oh, It's an interesting thing, but nowhere near where we can shoot, so okay. It looks like he wants to sneak around the back. I, I don't think he's going to get spotted by the 25 until we're all the way at the bottom. Hard to tell, though. I don't think he's got six cents on the thing. He's not going to be able to come around this corner effectively. Oh! E25 is over there. Well, that gives us the green light, knowing that E25 is over there. Come around this corner. Leo is dead. M6 is pushing up on the Panther, too, though. We got to go, go, go. I'm going to speed this up because otherwise it's just going to take forever to get there. And no, he's not going to go that way. He's actually going after the E25, leaving the Panther to his fate. The Panther dies. Oh, poor Panther. Have it being left to his film speed this way up because it's a little while before we get to the enemy. Um, having left the Panther to his fate, the Panther succumbs to the M6. M6 has got to be turned around and rolling back our way by now. Go is a target, but we got to stop and aim at the same range. We got to aim. There we go. Nice shot. E25 is dead. Go is dead. Only. The Type 4 Heavy left on the other side of the ridge line, and the M6 that is chasing us. I'm going to speed this up because otherwise this is going to be a long replay. M6 coming over the crest behind us just in time to hit us, and then we duck down below the ridge line. The type 4 still in front of us. Type 4 is the target to kill right now. If we can take out the Type 4, we have a chance of winning this game. Side shot, nice job. Gets down, protects his lower glacis, but it doesn't matter. The Type 4 is probably shooting at G. Oh! Type 4 makes a crucial mistake, turns side on to us, and lets us get the shot off. With only standard rounds left, we're going to have to put one into the side of the M6. Anything else will not do. It will simply bounce, and this game will be over because, of course, the M6 will not hesitate to kill us. And he can put around through any place that's not the, f um, the front pike from head on and the front of our turret. Now that we have... Ooh! Our tower is our friend. And our tower is actually taking the shots for us. The M6 got hit, must have been hit, got hit by our tower. And we didn't know at some point. If only we had some HE rounds, <laughs> we could probably take him out with a single shot to the front of the tank. However, with no HE rounds in the tank, we have to wait for our tower to do the job. And it definitely did. Well done. Great battle. Whoo! That ending, though. <laughs> I can't believe the Type 4 actually gave us his side for as long as he did. He was actually... 
turning to the point where we wouldn't have had his side, and then he turned back and gave us his side again, uh, because the enemy artillery was, or our artillery was coming down this road, and he freaked out instead of just spinning his turret around. He just he tried to spin the whole tank, and that was what killed him. Master or er, ace tanker, yep, showproof fighter, fire for effect. One bond for a tier eight game, not bad. It's steel wall. He bounced 14 shots from that E25. I mean, it was steel wall, but it wasn't really like the steel wall you normally expect. <laughs> this was an interesting game, and I'll take it. Um, tomorrow's will not be a stone block. I really want to do a Reddit video, so that will be coming up tomorrow. What well on overall, though, unfortunately, he wouldn't have made any money even if he'd been running a premium account, but uh, he wouldn't have made a ton more experience. Um, this was a great game. Thank you so much, Irish, for staying in. Thank you all for watching. I will see you next time. This is IOE Throughout.